I'm Amy and I live in Rittenhouse. I'm Hannah, I also live in Rittenhouse. I'm Evie and I live in Rittenhouse. I used to ride to my own church on 3rd and Pine from Rittenhouse with my kids, um, which meant I would have to take Pine East and Spruce West when we came home. Um, and I, the word I would use was harrowing. Like it was harrowing to have two little kids on their own little bicycles in front of me and having to maneuver them around cars parked in the bike lane. It was, it made it impossible to drive or to ride bikes to church and uh, eventually we just decided to walk. It's not too long of a walk, but I would much prefer to use the bike and that just became impossible on Spruce and Pine Street even though that was the most direct way to my church. Over the summer I work at Rita's, which means I bike down to 2nd and South and I go on Spruce and Pine on the east and west and almost every single day there is I as far as I have to go around. This means I am forced to go into the like the main road with the cars and it takes so much longer to wait to not get hit and then to still be honked at. It's just it's stressful and it's consuming. Uh, yeah, I also use the I a lot just to like get to different places and there yeah, there are often like cars parked in the way that I can So, um, I think I got a glimpse of an ideal spruce and pine bike lane scenario when the Pope was here a number of years ago, and there were no cars on the streets at all for security reasons. But what that meant is I had the experience as a mom of my kids riding down these streets without any threat of cars. It was days where we reduced car traffic, or whether it's more bike lanes in the city, as a parent, that day, I still remember, it meant so much to me, um, and I would love that for other parents who have their children riding in the city. Uh, I love to bike up the school road trail. No cars, especially once you get past the Boat House Road, there's less runners there, so it's really fun. Um, personally, I bike up 22nd a lot, and that's what I'd like to see for a bike lane. It has great barriers, so that way cars will never park there, which makes a big difference in safety.